In this video, we're going to acquire some practice with sig figs. We're going to want to count how many sig figs there are in each number. Remember your rules. All non-zero integers are significant. For example, the number 4, that's a non-zero integer. So that number has one sig fig. These are also non-zero integers. So the number 9.46 has three sig figs. Now here we have some zeros. You'll have to recall the rules for zeros. Remember there's three types of zeros. Leading zeros, trapped zeros, and trailing zeros. You'll recall that leading zeros, zeros that come before a number, are not significant. So this number has two sig figs. Now this is a trapped zero. That's a zero that's trapped in between two significant numbers. And trap zeros are significant, so this number has three sig figs. Now these are trailing zeros. Trailing zeros, they may or may not be significant depending on um, the presence of a decimal place. Now this number 900 does not have a decimal place in it, so these trailing zeros are not significant. So this number has one sig fig. Here we have some leading zeros, which are not significant ever. And then here we have um, a trailing zero. A trailing zero in a number that has a decimal place is significant. So this number here has three sig figs. One, two, three. What do you think? That's right, two sig figs. What about this number, 5.0? That's right, two sig figs. What about this one with those two trailing zeros? No decimal place, that means three sig figs. Try this one. These are trailing zeros, but there's a decimal place, so three sig figs. How many significant figures here? That's right, just one, because all these zeros are leading zeros. Leading zeros are not significant. What about this number? 900 here had one sig fig, but 900 here has a decimal place, so these trailing zeros are significant, so three sig figs. And you know that all numbers written in scientific notation are significant, so all three of these numbers are significant. Now here's something we haven't seen. This number has uh, like a dash or a line over it. So you won't see this very often, but what this means, this dash tells us that this number here is significant. This zero is not significant because it's a trailing zero and there's no decimal place. So this number 500 here is, is precise um, to this decimal place, the hundreds place, or the tens place rather. So this number has two sig figs.